Hi guys, Mama Beach here. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my Ambler. So um, you guys know in my last video I was super excited because I finally found an Ambler and I just was really excited about it and it showed up yesterday. And the short version is I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it. So um, I want to show it to you guys and show you all the features while I still have it because I know a lot of you are excited to see it on my channel finally. Um, so here it is. Isn't this adorable? Oh my gosh. So this is the Ambler and this is in Belvedere leather. This is the color pumpkin seed, which I was really stuck between apricot and pumpkin seed as the color that I wanted. And this color, I adore. It is like a neutral orange color and it's more of a deeper orange color in person than it's showing up on camera right now. It would be like a perfect year round color. Really, really like this color. So if I end up not keeping this, then I'm going to hunt for another one in this same color. And um, I remember I told you guys that I was having a hard time with the price tag on these. And I finally found one on eBay and it was $99 plus $13.50 for shipping. And so I was like, okay, that's a little bit over what I wanted to spend. I really wanted to spend, you know, $100 total on such a small bag, but, you know, I'll splurge the extra $13 for shipping or whatever. Um, so I got, got here yesterday and I absolutely love it, but there's two issues. The first one is not really an issue. It's just something that pissed me off, to be quite frank. Um, <laughs> so this person charged me for a medium flat rate box for this bag and they sent it in this which is like a $6 cost savings in their pocket. Um, and this is the second time this has happened to me recently where a seller has pocketed the extra money, charged one price for a flat rate product, and then used a smaller, less good flat rate product to actually mail the bag and just pocket the difference. So already when I saw this, I was like kind of miffed. And then I opened the bag and I was like, okay, at least the bag looks nice. and. It was described as brand new, never used, and it doesn't look like it's been used, but I found this weird thing on the bottom, and it's like, it's, it's small, but it's something I'm worried about getting worse, because it's like a chip, and in person you can see like a perfect circle here, and you see this edge is peeling up. So it's like starting to peel, and you can actually see the outline of like where it's going to peel the leather. And so I was like, hmm. and then in certain lights, when I look at it, it almost looks like somebody put paint on it or something like to try to cover up or like stick it back down because the color isn't quite the same. So I was like, oh, why can't it just be perfect and easy, right? This is like the third or fourth bad eBay experience I've had in a row. It's like making me want to take an eBay break, which I think I might. And so I wrote the seller and was like, I'm just going to put the ball in her court. So I wrote her a letter, a note, and I was like, pretty nice. I was like, hey, like, this bag looks great, but I noticed this weird, like, chip in the bottom, and it looks like the edge is starting to peel, and, you know, if it was just like a normal scratch or something, I wouldn't worry about it, but it's, like, worrying me that it's going to peel, and, like, there's going to be a big peeled leather dent in the bottom of the bag someday if I continue to use it, especially because it's right on the corner, like, do you know what happened to it? Or can you explain, like, what's going on? And I was like, also, I noticed that I was overcharged for shipping. Um, you know, I just wanted to point out that you charge for a medium flat rate box in it. It came in a small envelope, and so I was overcharged. And her response was, um, first of all. Okay, so when something starts out with first of all, it's not going to be good. <laughs> she goes, first of all. I, I made an accident when I set up this auction and $99 was supposed to be the opening bid. So you're welcome. And I never noticed anything wrong with the bag. It's brand new. So I was like, okay, so this isn't going to go well. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do some research. And I did some research and talked to some people and they're like, you can't fix that. Like, that's going to peel. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So I wrote her back and I was like, look, you know, I'm sorry you made a mistake on the auction. You could have just told me and canceled the sale. Um, I'm happy to return this bag to you so that you can um, sell it for more money. And her response was, I don't, res I don't accept returns for any reason. 
like, okay. So I opened a return and I took pictures of the spot and I'm like, look, I think this is going to be an issue in the future. Like I get, I get it looks like nothing now, but it's peeling. It's going to peel. So I don't know what to do. So I guess it's going to be up to eBay whether or not I keep this bag. But um, now that that's all been said, I just wanted to show it to you really close, really quickly. I got to slow down quickly with um, the Sawyer. So if you guys are thinking of getting one, you can make a choice. So you see immediately that the Ambler is a little bit smaller than the Sawyer. I mean, it is close, but I do believe that it's a little bit shorter. The width looks pretty similar. But I do believe the, the Ambler is a little bit smaller. And you can see this is Safiana leather, so it kind of has that cross hatch texture to it. And this is a pebbled leather that they call Belvedere. Um, but the Belvedere is lovely. It's really nice stuff. It's not very, um, very pebbled. It's a very subtle pebbling that it has. And it's very soft and kind of malleable, so I really like it. Um, it is heavier. And we all know Safiano is very light leather, so it's kind of not a fair comparison. If I had a pebbled Sawyer, it would probably be more of a fair comparison. But if you just look at the aesthetics of the bag, you can tell immediately, like to me, this is like kind of a lower end, and you can tell this is higher end just because of the top handle and the hardware. Um, something about it to me just looks nicer. I like that they moved the placement of the logo to the center and that they added this front pocket. There's no front pocket on the Sawyer. There is back pockets on both. So the other big difference is the Sawyer only has one zipper. And so you have to go all the way around when you want to unzip it, which I'm going to do now so I can show you the insides of both. Okay. The Belvedere um, Ambler has two zippers. So you can put them on either side. You can put them both on the top. And then if you just want to reach in, you don't have to unzip it all the way. You can just unzip down both sides and just open it up and see your stuff. So that's kind of a nice feature that they've added. Um, now it does add more stuff on the bag that kind of makes it a little more busy. So it's just up to you if you are more into the functionality or into like the looks. If you want a more simple looking bag, maybe the Sawyer is a better option. Okay, so let's look at the Sawyer first. You can see how wide this opens because it has the gusseting on the pockets or on either side. And then inside, you don't have that much organization. You have your three card slots here, and then you have on this side a zipper pocket and a slip pocket. And of course, they put the silly key keeper in the tiny bag. You know, I love that. So, but look at this the kind of the range of motion of how this opens up nice and wide is different than this one. So I have this zipped all the way down. You can see there's no lining. So there's no like pocket here keeping your stuff in. I don't know if I can even show it side by side. Let's try. See? So if you're worried about your stuff falling out, this lining on the sides may help keep your stuff in a little more. This is just a free for all. But what is nice about the Ambler, and I don't feel like it opens quite as wide, what is nice is the crazy amount of organization they have packed in this little bag. Oh my gosh. There is, you don't need a wallet. You do not need a wallet with this bag. You have like eight or nine card slots here, a big pocket for cash. You have a zip pocket here. You have another big slip pocket. And then let's get to the other side. It comes with this card holder that has an ID slot on the back. So you can put your frequently used cards in here. So you can just pull this out, pull out your ID, your credit card, whatever, and then put your lesser used cards inside here. And look, here's another eight or nine card slots, another big pocket you can put cash in. And these pockets are lined with like nylon. So they're not going to get dirty and gross and they're a dark color, which is nice. And then they still add more. They have another zip pocket here. Look at this. Lined with more dark nylon. You could put your change in here. It won't look dirty. And another slip pocket. I mean, they have packed this bag full of organization. 
So I can just imagine all you would need to do is empty your wallet into here, use all the slots and pockets they provide. Then what do you put in? Your sunglasses, your hand sanitizer, maybe a tiny pouch that has like your feminine hygiene products or medicines, maybe a couple of, uh, maybe a tiny makeup pouch. I mean, because of the organization they put in for your wallet contents, you can really probably fit a lot in here. Now I'm not gonna do a what's in my bag because this isn't my bag yet. So I don't wanna put my stuff in here. I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm gonna put it back uh, in my closet shelf where it'll be safe until we find out what eBay decides. But it's a lovely bag. And if anybody's thinking of getting one, especially in this pumpkin seed color, I would highly recommend it, especially before fall, because this is such a lovely fall color. Do you guys hear that? It's a trash truck outside, which means it's time for me to end my video, because pretty soon you won't be able to hear me. Um, but I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope I have a positive Ambler update sometime in the future. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.